I'm a big fan of traveling. I love to go to a lot of countries, and I'm fortunate that, you know, my parents are big fans of it as well. So we've gone to Europe and, you know, Asia, of course, and, you know, South America. And I'd love to see myself traveling when I'm 100 years old. My name's Navneet, and uh, I'm a student at UCLA. And this summer, I'm working on the cancer research team at Sens Research Foundation. I've always been fascinated by, you know, how things work and how things came to be. And as I took more science courses in middle school and high school and now in college, I've realized that there's a lot of complexity that's associated, you know, with the human body. So I got really interested in you know, biology and the biological sciences. The good thing about, you know, biology research is that it's very hands-on and there are a lot of real-world applications to it. I, I got really interested in aging after I took a gerontology course at UCLA. And before that, I hadn't really thought of aging as a disease. We all age, so it's very applicable to you know everyone. And I think age-related diseases are is a really big deal. And I've had some relatives who have suffered from you know age-related diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So there was a personal connection. But I think from the research aspect, I knew it was very applicable to me and you know everyone. You know, I decided to look for opportunities in this field, and I was really excited that I found you know, the Sens Research Foundation. So I thought it would be a great opportunity. I decided to apply, and I'm really grateful that I'm here. As part of the, the cancer research team here called Oncosense, we're interested in a method by which cancer cells elongate their telomeres, which are these repetitive sequences at the end of their DNA. And we believe that if we're able to shut down this mechanism, then we can you know, control cancer and prevent people from getting it. We're trying to find or identify genes that are responsible for this mechanism called ALT, or alternative lengthening of telomeres. I'm looking at a gene called ATRX and its role in the ALT mechanism. Age-related diseases are a very big deal, and I think there's a great need to, to cure them. And if we are able to cure cancer and we're able to translate the experimental results that we're getting here in, in a clinical context, uh, it would be amazing. There are so many emotions that would be flowing if you know, lengthening of telomeres was you know, the viable solution to actually stopping cancer. Before I came here, I didn't really know that you know this field even existed. I knew people were looking at aging, but the fact that this organization only focuses on it, you know, has really opened my eyes to what we can do and the type of research that we can have. But also that you know, whatever I do, whether I'm a doctor or a, or a clinical researcher, um, I think I'll be doing something related to this because it's very applicable to everyone. It just opens many doors of possibilities of what you might do if we're able to lead healthier and longer lives.